Okay, so it's been a while since I've posted anything, so I'm just going to explain what I'm taking on my trip here to Greece. So this is a um, it's a trip with a school group, so there'll be some teenagers going, parents, and a few teachers. Um, I want to keep this as simple as possible, and it's pretty much just a vacation. So it'll be about 10 days actually touring. So I'm going to take my Nikon Z7 with a 24-200. So it's a great all-purpose lens. I wish it was a little faster on the on the uh, wide end. You know, it's f/4 to uh, 6.3, but you know that should be fine. I just want to take the Z7 so I have as much latitude as I can with the uh, dynamic range, and uh, it just gives me better files to work with. So that with um, one of these straps that I just had recently posted about, or it's Optech is the brand. Um, I've got a 120 gig memory card in the camera, plus I'm going to take two 64 gig cards, and that should be plenty for what I'm doing. I hardly ever shoot any video, it might just be a few short video clips, uh, but that's about it. One of these uh, Watson dual battery chargers, so I've got, you know, these, it says D750, but it's, you know, the EN EO15, I guess, battery. So I've got two extra batteries, plus one in the camera, so that's three batteries total, which is more than I need. Uh, but anyway, this charges two at a time, and it also has a couple, well, one USB port on the side, and uh, takes a regular 110 volt up to, uh, you know, 240 or whatever that Europe uses, and I have some power adapters for that to fit in the sockets there. Um, but it also, you can get this with a uh, car charger, so like it would have like this connection with a cord that goes into the, to the charger itself. And I'm going to take one of these just in case, but I don't think I'll need it. Um, we'll be on a tour bus. So this is the a two-port USB charger that would plug into a power outlet on a car. I'm going to take the extra power charger, battery charger, the um, Nikon brand one that came with the camera. Uh, one USB um, um, battery pack, so I could either use that to charge the battery in the camera in an emergency, which I don't think I'd ever need to because I have plenty of batteries, uh, but this mostly be for my phone if I ever needed to charge my phone, top it off once. And uh, just for the heck of it, another USB charger here. Again, this is for 110 volts, but we have the adapters for the power over in Greece. Uh, I've got some wired headset here for my iPhone wireless Bluetooth um, headphone for listening to music on the airplane mostly or in the hotel. A uh, little retractable brush for my camera cleaning the lens or whatever. I'm not going to take my blower because it's a little bulky so I'm not taking the lens off. This is a sealed lens anyway. You know weather sealed so shouldn't be any dust getting on the sensor. And it's fine as it is now, so if I just leave the lens on there, it should be fine. Some um, lens cleaner. This is a um, lens cloth. Trident chewing gum. Sugar-free. Uh, this would be for the cord for my... This is the other tip. Just make sure when you go somewhere, you think about everything you're taking. Like this takes the old uh, micro USB connection for charging. So make sure you take the right cords for what you're charging. So I've got two lightning connections here for charging my phone. So two of those plus a USB-C. This will charge my camera if I need to. Plus an Android phone like a Samsung. Uh, this is a two port. Hopefully this is all in focus, but this is a two port um, lightning connector for the iPhone. So I can plug it into the charger, for example, and uh, actually, you know, this plug into the this plugs into the phone this side, and then I'll have two outlets: one for like a um, charging cord for charging the phone, plus using a wired headset. So if I did want to use my wired headset, which is in here, at the same time I'm charging it with one of these cables, then that's what this would be for. Um, and this is just a little data blocker for USB. So if I want to plug my phone in somewhere and um, not be compromised by any um, anybody that might be 
attaching one of those devices that actually um, would allow somebody to try to hack into your phone through a charging port. Um, this this is just a, a dummy charger. It just allows power through, but no no data connection. Uh, let's see, I think that's about it. Other than an extra pair of glasses, eyeglasses, because I do wear glasses and I have to have my glasses all the time. I'm not just reading glasses. Um, and I'm just going to take this little think tank bag. I was going to take two bags, one just a little bit smaller that I could just use for carrying the camera around during the day, but then I realized, you know, it's going to be around my shoulder all the time. Um, so I'm not going to really use the bag during the day. Um, depends on how this tour goes. I'm not sure if, if, you know, I might just leave this on the bus and the only thing that would be in it would be like extra, one extra battery. I'll have an extra battery in my pocket and an extra memory cards in my pocket. Uh, but I might leave like my extra eyeglasses and these chargers and stuff in here. Um, this probably, I'd probably just leave this in my suitcase when I'm not using it. But um, yeah, so this, this is just big enough to hold the camera. So the camera fit right in here with that 24 to 200 on it. Um, memory cards and something else over here. There's a little pocket here I can put something in. And uh, it's also a pocket here on the front that zips up. So I can put something in there. That's really about it. So this would be my whole kit for my trip to Greece, which would be like 10 days of actual touring. So that'd be April 8th will be pretty much a travel day um, to get into Greece. And then April 19th uh, coming back, which would just be pretty much another travel day. So should be actually seeing things from April 9th through the 18th. All right. So hopefully I'll have some nice, uh, nice new gallery. Uh, well, I will uh, when I get back from Greece and I'll upload that and uh, that'll be on my website. Thanks for watching.